Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I will do another Valentine inspired makeup tutorial. The first shade that I use is called Day Rate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm using a very fluffy brush by Morphe Brushes. And I'm just blending this in my crease. This will be my transition shade. For those who don't know what a transition shade is, a uh, transition shade is basically the first shade that you apply in your crease which will help the other shades that you will apply afterwards blend in more easily. So just make sure to always go in with a light shade. This will make it much more easier and will give a flawless finish. Um, but since this is a Valentine inspired look, you can also use this or wear this on a daily basis. This will be a very soft look. The next shade that I will use is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills called Warm Taupe. By the way, I'm using only Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows today for my crease. And I'm using a E40 brush by Zigma. And I'm softly blending this also in my crease. This will make uh, my crease a bit more ashy, if you know what I mean. This shade is way more cool toned than the shade that I applied before. Gives a very nice effect. Now I'm using the shade Morocco. And I applied a very tiny amount on my Morphe M506 brush. And I'm softly blending this at the outer edge of my eyelid. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to tell you guys, I applied a sticky tape. I always forget to mention this in my videos, so weird. Um, but I always use this to create a very sharp eye look. Now I'm using the shade Blank from Anastasia Beverly Hills again. And I'm using my MAC 242 brush to press this on my eyelid. This is not a white eyeshadow, it has a very soft pinky undertone and it is more on the cool side. So I'm softly blending this and pressing this on my eyelid. So now I'm going back in with the Morocco eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And again I applied a bit of that eyeshadow on my brush. This time a Morphe, no not a Morphe, a Zigma E45 brush. And I'm going over the edges of my eye look. And also a bit over the blank eyeshadow to make it less harsh at the outer edges. So now it's time to remove the sticky tape, you can see it leaves me with a very sharp line which also comes in handy with applying the eyeliner. So now I'm using the Zigma Beauty Wicked Gel Eyeliner, I get a discount code for all Zigma Beauty products and brushes. When I do my eyeliner I first always start with applying the eyeliner along my lash line and later on I start with my wing. So that I use the sticky tape now comes in very handy because I'm simply following the line. And I'm creating the wing and I always start right underneath where my crease starts. So you can see my crease and where I just started with my brush is directly right underneath it. So. Why I'm doing this is because when I open my eyes the wing will still look great. I hope that makes sense, but this is just my technique how I still can make the wing look nice even though I have a little bit hooded eyes.
So now you see that I have my eyes wide open and the wing still looks pretty great. And um, now I'm just trying to fix some things and make it even more neat. So to make my wing look even more sharp, I'm going in with some concealer and a concealer brush. This brush is from Crown Brush, but unfortunately it's not available anymore. Um, you can use any concealer brush that you have at home. So I'm going right underneath my wing and this will make it more sharp. Today I'm going for a white eye pencil in the waterline. This one is called Fascinating, it's by MAC. So it's just a simple white eye pencil. You can use any white eye pencil that you have at home, but sometimes with eye pencils I get watery eyes. I don't have it with this one, so that's nice. So I'm just running this along my waterline. And I'm also going to apply this a little bit underneath the lower lash line because I'm also using it as a sort of base for the eyeshadows that I will apply later on. Now I'm going in with the Natasha Denona 28 eye palette and I'm using the shade Indian Gold. So I'm pressing this right above the white eye pencil that I just applied. And I'm using a Suifa 237 brush. Now I'm using a white certified glitter together mixed with the MAC Reflex Gold glitter. And I made my brush wet using a MAC Mixing Medium Gel. And now I'm softly pressing the combination of glitters right on top of the eyeshadows that I applied underneath my lower lash line. Just to give it that extra sparkle. And for this look I used my Anytude Lashes in the style Sturdy. I'm very happy that I chose these lashes for this combination with eyeshadows because I think it complements the eye look very well. I got a discount code in my description bar and this is the finished look with lashes on. So today I didn't use mascara on my lower lashes which is kind of new for me, I normally always use mascara. Um, but today I just wanted to keep it really fresh and I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I also made some pictures with mascara but I just liked it without. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, with mascara or without. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. And of course, I wish you all a happy Valentine. Bye bye!